Well, this morning we want to give you a look at how some of the school districts in our area fared when it came to their levies. So to break them down for us, Madeline Watkins joins us live from Toledo and Madeline, several school levies passed. Tiffany, yeah, there were several school districts in our area in Northwest Ohio that passed the levies, and there were also some that didn't, of course. So here's a closer look at some of the bigger school districts in Northwest Ohio and how the results ended for those uh, ballots and levies. So in Lucas County, Anthony Wayne and Oregon local school voters passed the tax levies. You can see here that over 8,000 voters said yes to Anthony Wayne's renewal. In Oregon, it was a close issue here, but voters decided to pass that renewal as well. The renewal for Evergreen local schools, however, did not pass with 539 no votes. In Wood County, the 0.5% income tax and $49 billion bond for Bowling Green schools did not pass as well. The Arlington local schools levy did pass in Hancock County with over 1,000 people voting yes. And finally, the Benton Carroll Salem School District renewal in Ottawa County also passed. And of course, there were several other school districts in our area that had levies on the ballot. So you can head to WTOL.com for a complete list. For now, I'm live in East Toledo this morning. Madeline Watkins, WTOL 11.